And that's our end of our show. And that's the beginning of our 
Jesse. I'm Sarah. Jimmy. Courtney. Anna. Hi. We are currently known as the Strangler Clubs. Hi, we're the Strangler Clubs. Uh, we're an improvised comedy troupe, which basically, if you've never been here before, means everything we're doing is being made up on the spot. None of this stuff has been done before. None of this stuff will be done again. This is like a snowflake of comedy. <laughs> so it's a little piece of us in you, so you can cherish and whoever enjoy. We'll be using you guys all for recommendations, scene selections, and just little prompts. So you're part of the experience too, so just have some fun with it and have a good time. So Sarah's going to explain the next day, and then let's have a good time. Have a good time, guys! Have better times! Alright, everyone, uh, the next thing we're going to play is called Style Screenplay, where Dana, Jimmy, and myself, we're going to perform a short comical scene, and then after we perform that scene, we're going to perform that scene again two times according to the genre that you would like to see it in. So, take it away, Jimmy. So, really quick, say you're walking down the street, you see someone, and they say something completely random to you. What would that be? Do you have beer money? <laughs> 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 I have beer money. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, can you put a slight beer before a college kid? Beer or shot anything. You just gotta keep me going. How is how is alcohol gonna keep you going? <laughs> it's been three weeks. I live off this stuff. <laughs> I mean, I can give you a shot of water. <laughs> that's, that's terrible for you. Oh, I want water. <laughs> water is oh, I'm a college kid. Alcohol flows through my veins. You have to help me. It's obviously not flowing through your veins. It's been three weeks, right? I know. It's a problem. Lieutenant, 
Um, chill. I threw it out. It's gone. Because he did spare one right there. 
Xylophones! Well, because this is a xylophone family. We are the xylophones. Yeah, that's not my last name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Fancy Pants, what's your last name? John. Hello! We're definitely the xylophones from Vaughn. Say hello! And I'm gonna leave now, so I'm gonna play. I'm not playing the xylophones. Sweet. No. It's very important to your father. <laughs> that's great, that's great. You know he doesn't know what our last name is? Can I trust him to make decisions for us? <laughs> Take 
care of him. And I don't think he should go to school. No, I don't think he should go to school. Like that idea. Like, Homeschooling is the best idea you would say. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go tell him the good news is that he's dying. <laughs> <laughs>
Never worked with more incompetent people in my life. I'm happier. You're at McDonald's. <laughs> And you enjoy it. It's bright outside. Children are playing. Ronald McDonald's out there in the field. No, 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 I've never seen anyone be happy at 
McDonald's. <laughs> I've come to your offices to tell you that commercial is completely accurate. And people false impressions, that's false advertising. We can be sued for that. I actually called the resume and like, so any long story short, 
they were like really bad at their job, and I felt so bad at how bad of a job I was doing. I felt bad for the employers. So I would just do my work really slowly and really ineffectively because I didn't care about the success of this business. And I would, like, I would wash dishes. I, I was a dishwasher. So I would cut myself on the plates and just not tell anyone. So if you go to Long Beach, New York, and you get paninis and bikinis, you're going to have some blood on your plates. But anyway, I, I digress. They made, they had the worst business model in the sense that they were just bored out of food. Like, oh, <laughs> doing like 12 p.m. on a Thursday and a Friday, they were just bored out of meat. And more or less, they would just like, ask me to go to the supermarket and just buy like a hundred turkeys. <laughs> and I would have to go to the supermarket and do this, and then someone behind me would always go, someone must really like turkeys. <laughs> no, I'm just doing the best I can at the job called Pinis and Bikini. <laughs> okay, um, so when I was little, my friends and I, we went on this overnight camping trip, and we were told that there were bagels on the trip, but we were also told that there were balls on the trip. And we went to the bag that was supposed to have the bagels, and apparently they were bagels, but we didn't know what they were, so we just started throwing them everywhere, and pegging, they were stale, so that's why we thought they were balls. And we were just pegging them at each other, and then a nice coyote came to our campsite and decided to chill with us as we, as my friends, not my, not me, because I, I was scared and ran away. My friends were pegging bagels and cream cheese at a coyote. <laughs> and um, to make a long story short, no one died and we're all alive and well with a few scratches. <laughs> so I am slightly terrified of geese. And there's a reason behind that. When I was younger and my brother was about three, we used to go to the pond and just feed all the ducks and the geese. And we were like, oh, they're so adorable. And then one day, my brother had a whole bagel, and he didn't want to let go of it. So then the geese came closer to him. And they were about his height, so he's like here, and the geese are like here. And they started chasing him. And I tried to save him. And then I fell. And then the geese kept clo coming closer and closer to me. They kept making a shrieking noise and going like this, and it was, it was really traumatizing. And so we started throwing our bagels at them, and they still kept coming closer and closer. It was like a really creepy zombie movie where they just kept coming at you. And that's why I'm terrified. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
What's important to you? What? What would it be? <laughs> that no. isn't money. I really... I want you to... I want... Do you want me to kidnap somebody? That could work, yeah. Um, You're serious? You want me to kidnap somebody who works for you? Yeah. Yeah, I like the way you think. Okay. Um... <laughs> Alright, I want you to kidnap no, my no. daughter what? <laughs> from her mom. What? Mind? Mm-hmm. Mind? <laughs> I believe my husband. 
Come on and try it out as well as we teach everybody. So please have a wonderful evening.